Uh, today we are talking about lip liner. I honestly can't even uh, like imagine applying my lipstick without a lip liner nowadays, you know? I don't know, I guess there was a time when I was, when I didn't, but um, if you have big, beautiful, juicy lips and you can just like apply a lipstick without a lip liner, I wish I was you, but I can't. So let's apply lipstick on one side and then I'm gonna show you what I do with lip liner on the other side so you can see the difference. So I just uh, got this lipstick from Revlon. This is called Untold Stories. It's a matte shade. It's just like really pretty. You know what I mean? So let's do this side. So I'm gonna use the bullet to just follow my lip shade, my shape. I literally never do this because I overline my lips. <laughs> so this feels so strange. I'm actually gonna use the uh, point of the bullet to like go outside my lip line just a little bit. Great matte formula, by the way. That's fine. You know, I went over my line just a little bit with just the lipstick, right? Lip liner is meant to help you kind of like create that lip shape keep it a little bit more crisp, helps you to overline if you want to. It allows you to create a nice sharp line um, so that you're not like, your lipstick doesn't bleed into the rest of your skin. It also allows you to be more versatile with like color combinations. So you can use completely different colored lip liner and blend it with a completely different colored lipstick. And it just allows you to really like contour and manipulate your lip color, lip shape, blah, blah, whatever. So now on this side, I'm going to show you uh, how I would use a lip liner to really amplify and maximize my lip. So I have been loving, you may have seen this already, I'd make myself my life so much easier if I just found the products that I needed before I started filming. But like, why would I make my life more easy? If you have been watching my recent videos, then you would know that I fell in love recently with the LC Cosmetics uh, lip liner in the shade Blush, but I cannot find it and um, I'm very upset. So instead, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner in, it has no shade on it. How do they always have no shade name? I don't understand. This one, I don't know. Maybe it's the only one from the collection. Anyway, it's a very nice match for the Revlon lipstick. So what I like to do when I uh, line my lips is overline slightly, which I kind of did with the lipstick side. I'm gonna do it like a little more on this side. So you can see that this color is actually quite close to the lipstick. The formula is a little more matte. So I'm gonna go just outside my lip line. And I really like to do it the most out here because that's where my lip starts to get like really small. So obviously the most obvious um, benefit to a lip liner is precision. It's smaller um, and it really allows you to create a nice sharp line. So that lip liner is incredibly close, maybe just a slight bit cool toned. Now what I'm going to do is fill in my lips with the lipstick. Now, if we compare these two sides right now, there probably isn't that huge a difference. The only difference that I can really see right now is that the lip liner is ever so slightly more cool toned. It obviously allowed me a little bit more precision and it kind of creates like the most slight amount of dimension to my lip rather than applying just this one shade. Now, another trick that I like to do, especially since I overline my lips, is to use a very cool toned lip liner. This is Stone by MAC. So this is really just like a very sort of gray, taupey kind of color. And what I'm gonna do with this is go on the very outer corner of that lip liner. And I'm just going to use this to kind of like sharpen and define that line. I'm using such a slight hand. By slight, I mean light. And then on the very outer corner, I'm going to shade using this darker color. And that is going to help create a more like defined, more three-dimensional look to the lips. It's also just going to like kind of bring 
the attention to the center, which makes them look a little bit more pouty. Now, obviously this side isn't as overlined. It look, looks a little bit more like soft, a little bit more natural. But then this side is a little bit more structured, a little bit more like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is such a pretty lipstick. I love it. I love it with and without. <laughs> Which side do you like better? What do you think? Do you like it to be like a little bit more natural or do you like it to be a little bit more like snatched? Personally, I think I like them both, but I will say that if you're using like a creamy lipstick, using like a more matte lip liner first, it's kind of like a little bit more waxy and it's meant to sort of like create a barrier between your lips and the rest of your skin. So it's going to prevent any kind of like running. If you're using a stain, if you're using a satin lip, a creamy lip, you just wanna be careful because especially the outer corners of your lips, sometimes that stuff can run. Anyway, quick and easy. I know it doesn't change your whole face, but it changes your lips a bit, you know? All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you wanna see next. Love this lip color. So pretty. Okay, bye.